Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to create projectiles in Roblox Theater using body velocities and C-frames. The first question you want to ask yourself is what is a projectile? Before we get started, let's define what a projectile is. A projectile is an object that is launched in the air and travels in a curved or straight path. In Roblox, projectiles are commonly used in games such as first-person shooters, roleplay games, and anime games. To create a projectile using a part in Roblox Studio, start by creating a part and adjusting its properties to resemble the projectile you want to create. So we can use the red ball that we created previously. Next, add the body velocity object to the part and set its max force property to control the applied force and the direction of its movement. In this case, we will set the vector 3.new to math.huge on the x, y, and z coordinates of the max force property. You can also add additional features like sound effects, particle effects, and collision detection using scripts, but we won't be doing that for this video. To launch a projectile, add a script that sets the body velocity's object's velocity property when a player interacts with a keybind. Now let's do this in studio. All right, let's get straight into it. So the first thing we want to do is we want to add body velocity into our game. So since body velocity is deprecated, we will have to do it from the command prompt. So in the bottom of our command prompt, we'll do instance.new, and then we'll make it to a string. We'll write body velocity. You can see a little slash line because it's deprecated. And then we're going to add a comma, and then we're going to set the parent to the workspace. So it should appear to the workspace, and that's going to be our body velocity that we created. And now as we said in the video, we want to change this to math.huge, math.huge, just infinite on all the um all the all the x, y, and z. And you can just keep this to 0, 0, 0, because we'll be changing this inside the script. And now we can create our part. Well, so we're going to uh, go quick on this part. All right, now here's our red ball. Okay, so now we have a red ball. So now what we want to do is we want to name this ball. Let's just call it our velocity. So we do, well, actually, instead of velocity part, we're going to call it our red ball. And then we're gonna take the body velocity and we're gonna parent to our we're gonna parent it to our um our red ball that we have. And now we're gonna go into our starter player, and now we're gonna go into our starter character scripts, and now we're gonna add a local script. And now what we wanna do is we wanna every time we hit a key bind, we want our projectile to launch. So first thing we wanna add is our user input service. And then after we add our user input service, we want to the main they, we want to actually be able to clone it, so we want to have a clone of the um, original reference. So we can just reference to the red ball part right now. So we can do red ball equals workspace dot red ball, and then we can do then we can detect it with the input. So we can just connect, just connect the input began function to our user input service. This part now we can just set our now we can just set our um, our key bond. So we're gonna set a key bond to our R key. And we're going to do all client. We're not going to make it too complex. You can do it on a server if you would like to, but we're just going to do it on a client just for just for time purposes so it doesn't make it too long. But if you can do it, you can fire a remote event and put it on a server if you want. So what we want to do is when we launch this, you want first, you want to clone the part. So when we hit this, you want to clone the part. So we want to do local new red, local new red ball equals red ball. And then we want to do clone. And then we want to do, then we want to parent it to the workspace. And after repairing to the workspace, now we want to basically set. Now we know that we have the body velocity inside of the red ball. So what we can do here is we can actually set the C frame in front of our character, so it starts there before it launches. So we can do equals, and then we want to get our character C frame. So we can just get a character and the other properties up here. Now we now that we have all our variables that we're gonna need, what we can do is we can do humanoid root part. So this is basically the humanoid root part that we made into the variable. And we can do dot c frame. We actually not yet yeah, the dot c frame the humanoid root part because this is from a character. And then we can do times c frame dot new zero zero negative two. So negative two just basically means that we're gonna put it in front of us negative two studs. If this was two studs, it would be behind us by two studs. So we're gonna put negative two here so we can set the ball up so when we do this we want to make sure that our ball is anchored so we it doesn't fall down so just make sure that your ball is anchored so after we do that what we want to do is set the velocity for the ball so we're going to do uh we're going to do red ball dot body velocity dot velocity and now what we're going to do here is we're going to set the velocity and as you can see when we were putting it inside it said the velocity is a vector three so what we're going to do here is we're going to do the humanoid 
root part. So we're gonna let's actually get all the properties. So I'm gonna do character dot humanoid root part dot c frame dot look vector and then we can act now we apply the speed so what this is saying is wherever our character is looking at this is the this is the direction we want the um this is the direction we want our ball to go towards and now when we put this times 20 it's basically saying how much force we want to apply so we can just add it we can just add an uh, a, a variable called applied force we can make it equal to 20 and we can change this to applied force and now if we're to run the game now let me go inside of here and we hit the key. Now we have a little projectile. And it's gonna keep going forever because we haven't deleted inside the script. We can spin this as much as we can. Now we have projectiles going anywhere we want to just using body velocity. And, it, and it's going towards where we're, where we're uh, rotating at. So we rotate here, multiple balls, multiple balls here. And that's how you create projectiles just using body velocity. Wow.